Hello and welcome. Today I'm excited to share. I want to talk to you about my cholesterol level. I went for my annual physical and to my great surprise, my cholesterol level was so much lower than it had been the year before. <laughs> now, I watch this every year. I've been very aware of it for a long time. My mother has very high cholesterol, um, has been on cholesterol lowering, lowering medications for as long as I can remember. All three of my siblings are on statins to lower their cholesterol. I'm the only member of my family who is not taking some kind of medication to control my cholesterol. And I'm fortunate that mine is borderline enough that I can control it with diet and exercise, but I feel a responsibility to make sure that I am controlling it with diet and exercise. And to be perfectly honest, this year my diet hasn't been that great. It's been a lot of cookies and casseroles, and so I was a little nervous about my results. But I got my test, my results came back, and my total cholesterol, which last year was 196, this year is 170. Fantastic. So after celebrating, I realized I had to figure out what I was doing that was right, that was making this happen. And I could only think of two things. One is oatmeal. Uh, I have been eating oatmeal fairly regularly for breakfast. And that does have an effect on your cholesterol. I didn't think it would do much. I've, I've eaten it before, it didn't do that much, and I think the number is usually five to eight percent. So, okay, maybe that's a factor. But I tried to think of what's the one thing I've been doing that's completely different from previous years. And the only thing I could come up with was matcha. I've been drinking matcha tea for a couple of months. Uh, my understanding is it's mostly an antioxidant type properties, but I did start drinking it and lo and behold, my cholesterol's down. So let me give you a quick, a very quick uh, formula for how I make my matcha tea. I start with hot water, of course. This is what matcha powder looks like. It's a very fine powder of ground up green tea leaves. I only use about a half a teaspoon and dissolve it in that water. I started out getting my tea from the Republic of Tea. Actually, I should say that is the name brand. I bought it at World Market. Uh, the next time I went to get some more, they were all out. I ordered it on Amazon. You can get refills on Amazon. However, I've also found that my local Kroger-owned grocery store now carries matcha powder. Uh, and it's because I'm not paying for shipping and all that. It's actually cheaper. So look at your local grocery store. I think more and more places are carrying matcha powder. So that'd be an easy way for you to, to source this. Anyway, um, you can see this is green <laughs> and possibly not the most appetizing. I have found that I like a little bit of sweetness. To be perfectly honest, green tea tastes kind of like grass in some ways, so um, a little sweetness goes a long way. Up to a teaspoon of honey. Just dissolve that in there while that water is still nice and hot. And then I add in some almond milk. It makes it a little bit like the matcha tea latte. If you think really hard, maybe you can tell yourself it's just like the ones at Starbucks, right? Um, I've had the ones at Starbucks. It's actually very similar. Um, and most recently I tried their iced version, which is really delicious. This is something that you can make yourself at home and enjoy all those health benefits of matcha. And who knows, maybe your cholesterol also will go down by 26 points. Enjoy.